So before we even get started and dive into this very, 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 very important topic, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Go to www.exclusivegroup.com. Cop yourself a t-shirt, cop yourself a seamless hoodie, look big, look swole, enter the giveaway. And without further ado, let's dive into this topic. So yo, a lot of people have been asking me about this topic, and I'm just going to continue right where I left off in the last video. Part two of the laws of money. The video is going to be called the law of money because a lot of y'all haven't figured this out yet. Yo, so let me pull up my other phone real quick. Yes, I have two phones. It's for convenience purposes only. And <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. But anyway, so... <clears throat> People say to me, yo, why have you been so reckless? Why have you been doing this? Why have you been doing that? Why do you spend so much money? Because people see it, the people that are in my day-to-day -day lives, they see it. And I'm not even talking to flex. I'm not even talking to brag. I'm talking from my own personal worldview. No one can sit here and tell me that my worldview is wrong. Just like I can't sit here and tell you that your worldview is wrong. You follow? So anyway, let's dive into this. So people have been saying, yo, why have you been spending so much money? Why have you been doing this? Why have you been doing that? I'm like, bro, why not? One, we only have one life to live, but we can take that out of it. And life is meant to be lived, bro. Life is meant for living. Life is meant to enjoy. But so anyway, we can take that out of it, bro. The Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth. In Proverbs, it literally says, I'm going to pull it up for you right now. It literally says, some people sp spend their money freely and still grow richer. Others are cautious and yet grow poor. Think about that for a second. People spend their money freely and still grow richer. However, others are cautious and still grow poor. Bro, money is just an exchange of energy. Money is just an exchange of resources, bro, the barter system. You give me $50, I'll give you a sleeveless hoodie because my sleeveless hoodie is worth more to you than your $50. You're just trading something. It's literally, uh, I trade you this phone, you trade me a rock. You know what I'm saying? That's literally all it is. Money is, is nothing. It's meaningless, bro. It's literally numbers on a screen or a piece of paper. So when you remove that detachment, when you remove that scarcity that you need it, that's when it starts to come. When you spend money freely because you know it's in abundance, that's when it will come. Because what do you sit here looking like being like a worm and like a loser holding on to all your money? Oh my God, that, that burger cost $7. Oh my God. Bro, spend. Spend more money. You'll feel good. You'll get more confident. Because you know you have to make it back. If you're a real hustler and you trust in your hustle ability like I trust in mine, I know I'm going to make it back. Bro, throw all your money on a nice suit. Throw all your money on a nice weekend at a hotel. Throw all your money on a nice vacation. Throw all your money on a six-leg NFL parlay. Hit big or lose big. Go big or go home. Bro, spend more money. I'm telling you. Spend more money and it will change your life. Bro, you need to be spending. Not spending like an idiot. Not going broke, but you need to have some type of cash flow coming in because the law of cash flow, the more you put out, the more you will get back. The more of anything, the more you put out, the more you will get back. That's literally the law of the universe, bro. The more you will put out, you will get back. What you get out, you will get back. So when you sit here and you spend money, you know you have to make it back because you're a real hustler. You swipe that card a bunch of times and you get a $5,000 payment coming up October 1st and it's September 27th. You know you got to hustle to make that money back. And then when you do hustle and make that money back and you make that payment on the card, you feel good. And that gives you more confidence. That gives you more ability to, to start moving. And then you start moving with speed, which is also the second part of this video. Is that I know a lot of people say, and I'm sure you've heard of this. I've especially got this from Andrew Tate. But you need to be moving with speed. You need to be moving fast. There's no point in sitting there with your dick in your hand, watching all the motions and everything fly by you. You need to be moving fast. I literally can't hang out with people that sit there and do nothing all day. I can't I can't stand to be around people like that, bro. I cannot fathom anything to do with the, with that type of person, bro. I hate people in business that I'm like, yo, I have this play going on. We gotta drop this hoodies. We, we gotta drop this, we gotta drop that. We gotta drop these clothes. You know, I, I'm, I'm trying to get another drop going for October 15th. Oh man, you know, I think we should wait. Oh, uh, you know, I don't know. We gotta call the label first and we gotta do this, we gotta do that. No. Why? Why do we have to wait until tomorrow to call the label? Let's call them now. Why do we have to wait until the 15th? Let's do it. Let's do it now. Let's already get the order in. So by the f time the 15th comes, let's get it. Let's not wait until the 15th to make the call and get the order in because that's just a waste of time. You want to post a video? Let's post it now. You want to tweet? Let's tweet now. Those people want to meet? The investors want to meet up? They want to meet up next week? No, why can't we do it tomorrow? Why can't we do it today? Why can't we do it tonight? The investor want, wants to hop on a call with me so we can cash out me some money. Let's do it now. Let's do it today. Why are we waiting until tomorrow? Why are we waiting until October 1st? Why are we waiting until the 15th? Let's do it now. You need to move fast. You need to have urgency. 
with anything you need to have urgency bro why did girls when you were a little kid right why did girls like the fastest kid in in the playground because he's fast because he moves fast because he moves with speed he doesn't sit there and think oh my god <laughs> you need to be moving fast bro the only thing that matters in this life is speed because momentum keeps momentum an object in motion stays in motion another law of the universe an object at rest stays at rest an object in motion stays in motion <laughs> which brings it back to the cash flow and the money. The more money you spend, the more you will get back because the more, I like pressure. Me personally, I thrive in pressure. I thrive in high pressure environments. You know what I'm saying? So I would want to have my credit card due on let's say, I don't know, October 1st and I have a $5,000 bill, but I only got 2,500 in my checking account. I want that pressure to make $2,500 in two days. I want that pressure to work the extra shifts. I want that pressure to make the extra cold calls. I want to sit there all day calling, 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 calling to try to make sales and get that money in so I can have that pressure and that urgency. That's why you need to spend money because it creates urgency. You need to spend money on, on nice things. You need to spend money on, on, on a nice suit, on a nice vacation, on a nice hotel. Drop a bag at dinner. Bro, I be hearing people saying Chick-fil-A and Five Guys is expensive. Dog, it's like a $12 hamburger. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? I'm not sitting here judging your situation, but bro... We need to stop saying that things are expensive. You feel what I'm saying? Because when you start to think of things as expensive, that's like saying a girl's a dime. You put that above you. You put her above you. But if you sit here and say, all right, you know what? I need to spend this money so I can get more money in, which is going to add urgency for me to get more money in. That's when you start really like getting to the bag. You feel what I'm saying? And this is only going to work. And I'm going to put this as a warning. And I should have put this in the beginning. This is only gonna work if you're a real hustler. Because if you're some bomb who's cool with your situation, I wouldn't advise you to go spend too much money. That's ill-advised because you're gonna go broke. And then you're gonna sit here and say, oh, CG, that ugly light-skinned motherfucker, man, he made me go broke. Nah, I'm talking about to the real hustlers out here. Spend more money if you're a real hustler because the more you spend, the more you're gonna get back. It literally says it in the Bible, bro. Basic instructions before leaving earth. That's why it's called spelling. Words have power. I'm gonna read it back to you. Some people spend their money freely and still grow richer. Others are cautious and yet still grow poor. It says it right there, man. Stamp it. It's your boy CG signing out.